Okay, so continuing with our seventh chord studies here, today we're going to look at the augmented seventh chord. An augmented seventh chord, all it is, is a dominant seventh chord with the fifth scale degree raised one half step, so it's sharp. So that chord would be spelled, if, you, if you're looking at the notes in a key within the, um, like compared to a major scale, it'd be a one, the th first tone in the, the key, the third tone, a sharp five, so the fifth sharp or raised a half step, and then a flat seven. So that's the dominant seven that is a, uh, a one, three, five, flat seven. So an augmented seventh would be a one, three, sharp five, flat seven. Okay, now this, uh, uh, when used in certain, is not used as often as like a, of the other seventh chords, but it, it can be, actually create a very beautiful sound when used in the right area. It gives you, a, it's like a very ambiguous kind of haunting sound to it. So let's start here. We're always, we're, st we're playing all these off of C. If you don't, um, if you haven't seen the other seventh chord uh, uh, studies, uh, does, they're at guitarlessons365.com, all free, with a free PDF download for this lesson, as well as all the other seventh chord lessons. So we, this, this one right here, we're going to start this off the four A's in the caged sequence. And once again, if you don't know what that is, go back to the other seventh chord studies and we covered it earlier. So we're going to play off this fifth string C. We're going to have a, a, an augmented seventh chord. So that's going to be a, full, uh, a bar across the uh, first string to the fifth string at the third fret. Be sure to mute the sixth string there. And then we have so that third fret, first finger, fifth, fifth string. Pinky at the sixth fret on the fourth. That bar gets the third fret on the third string. Then the third finger gets the fifth fret on the second string. And then the second finger, fourth fret on the first string. So we have this. It's actually got a very nice sound to it. It's dissonant, but not. I don't know. It's, it's nice, though. It's kind of mysterious sounding. All right. Now let's go to the next one. This one's a, a big stretch shape, so it's not used very much because of that. But here's our, for some reason, all of our form Gs are the most difficult ones to play, I know, in all the chord forms. But we have your pinky at the eighth fret on the C, on the root note. So this is form G. Then the third finger at the seventh fret on the fifth string. And then the second finger at the sixth fret on the fourth string. So that gives us our augmented triad, one, three, sharp, five, if you know your triads. And then reach back here and get the flat seven. So it just uses the third, fourth, fifth, and sixth strings on the guitar. All right, so that's form G. Moving up now to form E, since that's the next letter in the word caged, we have um, this one. This is a very nice chord form. Full bar at the eighth fret, then the eleventh fret on the fifth string with your pinky, then the eighth fret again, taken by the bar. Bar's already got it um, on the fourth string. Your second finger at the ninth fret on the third string. Then your third finger at the ninth fret on the second string. It's kind of a kind of a little cramped chord form, and then you can get that high C. I think you can see these things can be used in some cool spots. All right, now we go up to form D. We have the C root note here on the fourth string. And you can kind of see this. If you remember our uh, dominant seven, right there. Well, this right here, the note played with your third finger on the third string, that was our fifth. And we basically just need to raise that one fret. So in order to do that, we're going to play our pinky on that note and then take your third finger and move it back it over to where the pinky was. So now we have 10th fret, 13th fret, 11th fret on the second string, and then 12th fret on the first string with your third finger. So just four strings. All right. And the last one is going to be form C. We couldn't do it off this C down here because we would have had it open, we didn't have enough room to get back to it, so we had to start with form A. And right here, 
we'll play it. Um, here's your pinky on the C on the fifth string at the 15th fret. And then your third finger at the 14th fret, fourth string. Second finger at the 13th fret, sec, uh, third string. And then first finger, 11th fret, second string. So just strum the four middle strings. All right, so all those chord forms are very nice, mysterious ones. That you can really use. Make sure you practice them on top of one another, just like we've been doing before. So we had our, off this one fifth string root note, we can, you should be able to do all your form A seventh chords off of it. Which means here's a major seventh chord off that note, a minor seventh, a dominant seventh, and here's that augmented seventh. So all that stuff that we were doing earlier, just continue all that. All right, and then I'm gonna see you guys tomorrow with, uh, I'm gonna finish this up with minor major seventh. All right, I appreciate it. Please go to the site, guitarlessons365.com and, and do anything you can to support. Thanks.